Hello there mates, Mushi Gamer here, and this is Shadowrun Hong Kong episode 35. And so I was doing a little bit of shopping off camera, but then I came to this section and it went into a dialogue, so I came on camera. But uh, as you pass in front of the walled city, something takes hold of your chest and squeezes, an internal pain like a panic attack, but worse. You feel your chest compressed, and for a second, the world turns to liquid. It takes all the effort you can to must you, you muster to keep from falling over. A strobing patch where the images flashes before your eyes, fragments of dream and sense memory all stitched together, played on a loop in your head. Walt City residents kneeling, the churning sound of grinding gears, leaning buildings, soil streets, used needles on the sidewalk. <coughs> Excuse me. The images come faster and faster. Teeth, thousands and thousands of teeth. The Rentman Barons and the first man you ever saw killed. A crown of ivory over a shimmering veil. Duncan at age 10, his legs pumping, running for his life from a pack of Halloweeners. Strange anatomy that doesn't make sense to your logical mind. A door, a heavy industrial door, something is written on it in faded yellow paint, but you can't make it out. And just like that, the slideshow ends. The images fade to nothing, returning you to the Huey streets. The outermost fa facade of the Watt City towers over you, huge and impressive. A group of counting chains blue lanterns pass you by, oblivious to the event that just took place in your head. Try to walk it off. You take a step forward, then another. You still feel woozy, but you don't need to take a knee. The event, whatever it was, is over. Your mind is your own. And that was what happened when I walked in front of the wall city. That place is creepy. Okay, but all I did was buy a sword. I increased uh, my close combat so I'd be able to get the sword. And I saw a few of my guys leveled up, so let's hop on over to that. Gobbit's Poison Fog is upgraded to Acidic Fog, doing AP damage to those affected as well as HP damage. That looks promising. What is this? Ah. Drawing spirits summoned by Gobbit are now present for an additional turn before dispelling themselves for a total of three rounds. Hmm. I do that one. I like this one. Confirm it. Anybody else got anything for me? Okay. Isabel, mini laundry is now packed with napalm charges. It Igniting damage targets. Targets on fire will take an additional 6 HP damage. That sounds really good. Isabel gains the dual routine boost program, which increases persona speed while sneaking in a matrix by 40%. That's not stacked with other boost programs. That also sounds really good. And I don't really use her mini her grenade launcher that much. So this one might be better. Duncan's standard equipment now includes a lethal sharp note filled grenade, base damage, 12 ongoing 4 damage for 2 rounds, strips 1 armor from affected targets. Duncan's standard equipment now includes a new flashbang grenade that has a larger AoE, increased by 1 tile in all directions. I'll go for lethal. Gaichu. Gaichu gains a katana ability plus 100 damage but can only attack stunt targets. Gaichu takes a bite out of his foe, restoring 8 HP over 2 rounds and gaining 1 strength through the consumption of their flesh. I have to say, I like the ghoul better because the only person I have that has a move that can stun people is Duncan. And so far, Duncan is really good at missing. Okay, so that should that should have done it for everyone, right? Okay. Cool. Then let's go on. I said the I think next one I would do was the one helping Isabel. Is that the one we're coming here for? Okay. Transit to Kai Dot Guy Tech to board a chartered bus the Deccan. And she said I could take one other person. I think Isabel comes. Isabel must be present. Okay. I was like, I thought, I thought Isabel came no matter who I chose. And Gobbit. I really like having Gobbit around. Uh, what I'm wondering is if I can trade inventory with like me or something. Let's 
Because I think the last gun that I had might have been better than, but I don't know. I don't. I don't see an option for it. So. I like having Gavin around. She's so silly and like super adorable. Deck Con 2056. A chartered bus carries you from Kai Tak to a mid range hotel in Sun Wan. All around you, the happy chatter of your fellow passengers fills your ears. You hear high tech speak in a variety of languages and dialects, talk about new lines of drones and decks, Ar arguments over innovations in data jack technology, and baseless speculation about the next season of Urban Brawl. Your guest bash, a gossy slip of laminated paper emblazoned with a flashy logo, hangs on a lanyard around your neck. Your ticket into the convention hall in the only disguise that you should need. The bus drops you in front of the Harbor Spires Hotel and you promptly circle around back to find a service entrance. Isabel should be waiting for you inside. Haha, <laughs> this is the first con I've ever gone to. Woo! Okay, so what was my gun? This is damage. It's a little better. Could I give it to? I can. Cool. Isabel's like, don't touch my crap. Okay. What is this? This is that medallion. That talisman. Uh, not a medallion. Okay. Increases the target's chance to hit by. Isn't this what Gobbit has already? Does not stack nor affect AoE abilities. The next closest ally will also be affected. Okay. I see the difference now. Well, this one seems a little bit better. Oh. How do I level up their stuff then? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Confirm it. Let's go. The service entrance to the Harbor Spires Hotel looks like any other. Scuffed walls coated in chip paint, a floor of well-worn hardwood, a time card reader hanging from the wall at a slight tilt. Nothing about the dingy ult ult utilitarian confines of the room that you're in hints at the elegance and fine decor of the hotel beyond. It smells like clams in here. She wrinkles her nose, sniffing. Clams and something else. Tequila, maybe? Some kind of sour liquor. It's hard to tell. Your earpiece crackles to life. Isabel calling from the woman's laboratory. MS, a burst of static fills your ear, obliterating Isabel's voice. A second later, she cuts back in. You in position? <laughs> if I in position, you mean twiddling my thumbs by the kitchen and sure. Yeah, I'm standing just inside the service. I'm here. Yeah, you're kind of breaking up, though. Yeah, and, and I know more white noise. Connection here is crap. The comms keep cutting up. This doesn't vote well. Are you going to be giving us instructions over to calm? I could barely hear you there. Yes, hang on a sec. Static. Time to lose our sound. Oh, wait. The, the sound cuts out entirely for a good five seconds. When Isabel voice come back, it's half again as loud. It's half again as loud as it was before. There. That's better. What a pain in the ass this is. There's way too much interference coming from the show floor. We aren't going to be able to rely on our comments for this. I'll find us a workaround. I hope that you do it fast. This entire plan hinges on a, on our being able to communicate. Like I said, I'll find a workaround. For now, let's concentrate on the task at hand. The catering staff should all be in the kitchen, hauling trays of steamed clams and apparatus out to the convention hall floor. Called it. Isabel paws ahead, ignoring the interruption. I'm gonna need you to find a way to get me one of the uniforms. One that will fit someone my side. Well, there aren't any that'll fit you. I don't know about this one. Find a dwarf size catering uniform. Check. I'm on it. Good. Oh, MMS? We aren't going wild yet. Got it? Whatever you do, don't start shooting. We can't afford to send Rhombus running before we can get him cornered. Alright. No shooting until we have Rhombus. Got it. All right, uh, what's all this? What's this all about? This panel controls simple building maintenance and safety features. 
While the panel's admin level user interface has been locked away behind a biometric fingerprint reader, a skilled decker could easily bypass such a restriction. Well, I am not a skilled decker, so... Who are millions? The damage sprinklers went off again. The entire kitchen was flooded and Chef Bun quit. We're gonna have to go with third party caterers for the big event this weekend because we sure as hell can't steam a few thousand clams without your kitchen staff. Is that it? Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, what's this? I don't have any of these things, you guys. I'm a muscle guy. Alright. That's locked. The Harbor Spires kitchens are a whirlwind of activity. With tracks of 20-somethings in white catering uniforms dash in and out of the room, their arms laden with heaping trays of steaming, steaming shellfish. One man stands still among, amidst the chaos, the eye of the storm. His white coat is at least half again wider than those of his subordinates, and his collar is stretched as stiff as a board. The floor manager notices you and his eyes narrow. He, he stalks towards you, practically frothing at the mouth. I hope he doesn't have rabies. You can't help but notice the embroidered corporate logo on his la lapel, pastry, magic, and more, fine catering. The image is completed by a stylized rendering of what appears to be a frolicking kitten standing outside, or standing astride a pair of shooting stars. You, what are you doing in my kitchen? He glances at your chest, sees the visitor badge hanging from the lanyard that Isabel gave you dangling around your neck. Convention goers are not allowed beyond the show floor. I smell clams. Are you streaming clams back? Are you steaming clams back here? I'm sorry, I must have gotten turned around. Do you know where the Xiaoyi's kiosk is? I really like your uniform. Could I buy one for my daughter? I don't really have a lot of money. Oh. I'll go with that one. He growls in his desperation. Yes, idiot. Yes, we are. And if you want some, you're going to have to wait on the show floor with everyone else. I really like your uniform. Can I buy one for my daughter? He stares at you. You want to buy one of our uniforms? Yeah, an extra small one if you got it. I think that she loved that kitten logo. His mouth tightens. It isn't a kitten. It's supposed to be a celestial tiger. But that's a kitten, though. Just look at how it, look at his little paws. He hangs his head low, color creeping to his sheets. Yeah, I know. I keep telling our graphic designer, but he never listens. You want a uniform? 500 million. Pay up or get out. Oh, I don't have that much money. Then leave my kitchen. Get out. Oh boy. Uh, well. Upon reaching the door, you feel a pair of eyes on you. Turning, you find their owner, a frazzled looking dwarf in a wine stained catering uniform. Her cricket name tag is emblazoned with letters in bold print Larissa. Hey, couldn't help but overhear you back there. You need a uniform? Maybe. You offering one? Yes, but not for free. Do You do me a favor, and this uniform, she tucks that wet fabric, is yours. It'd be a lot quicker and cleaner if I could just sit. Just use cash. I don't want a uniform. I want, I want a clean one. Tell me what you want me to do. There's a guy on the show for it, an elf, one of those deckers. Most of them are cool, but this one's been a prick to me for the entire show. First, he tried to chat me up while I was out serving drinks, and he wouldn't take no for an answer. Creepy. Then, when he finally got the hint, he started trying to trip me. I managed to keep my footing the first three or four times, but he finally got me. He put his foot into the back of my knee and pushed. I hit the floor, and I took an entire tray of five Nguyen wine with me. Now I'm drenched, the wine is coming out of my paycheck, and he's out there on the floor laughing about it. Let me guess, you want me to beat the piss out of him? She nods eagerly, I don't know if this guy is a racist, or if he has emotional problems, or what. Maybe he just hates me because I'm a girl, but if you knock him on, on his ass out there, the useless uniform is yours. I think I can handle that, stand in the doorway, kid back and enjoy the show. I intend to. Oh boy.
Alright. I'm assuming that's him. Isabel said no shooting. She didn't say anything about no punching. Judging by the patches sewn into his bomber jacket, this oaf is from the non Council Island to be specific, a forested chunk of rock in the middle of Lake Washington and was called Mercer Island until the Native American nations reclaimed it. <coughs> Excuse me. He doesn't look a meridian, though. If anything, he looks Chinese in descent, though his mask makes it hard to tell for sure. He turns to face you at your approach, and you see the high steel collar and the spiky hair that the dwarf in the kitchen described. This is the guy who tripped her, the one whom she wants you to knock out. He eyes you nervously. Hey, you want something from me? What's up? Uh, let's see. The punch her in the face. Just this guy. Just punch him. Just don't, don't don't even give him a heads up. I am curious about this council island. Yeah, what gave me away? He makes a pun of showing off his jacket. The trivial insignias look strangely out of place here in the deck con floor. You from Seattle? Originally, I lived all over though. No Drek? Well, it's good to meet you, Chummer. The Seattle shadow slang sounds incredibly awkward when delivered in Cantonese, but he doesn't seem to notice. Good to meet you too. He gives you an awkward smile. It's, it's pretty clear that this guy doesn't get out much. Punch him in the face! <laughs> Your fist connects with his jaw with a sickening crack. His head snaps back and he falls like a log to the hotel floor. All around you, you hear a smattering of polite applause. A few nearby deckers look upset, but they turn away and hide their faces when you make eye contact. Yeah, good talking to you. Let's go, Gavit. Gavit's like, whoa, you just knocked that guy out. The caterer's face lights up at your approach. She's wearing a fresh, clean uniform. The wine, the wine stain, the wine stained one is gone. That was beautiful, just beautiful. It was like something out of a movie. Where's the uniform that you promised me? She guesses at a door in a corner of the room. It's right over there in the ready room. Grab it whenever you want. You, mo you've more than earned it. All right. I will hear. Okay, but we are over time, so I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, if you liked the video, comment or subscribe below. Thank you for watching, and Mushy Gamer signing out.